every day here at the Hellman Garden Show. Our next guest appraises items at her stage here on the second level, looking at antiques and finding out are they treasure or trash. Yes, Dr. Lori's knowledge is vast and amazing on items of all sorts, and she's been having a blast finding what Pittsburghers are bringing in here, and you're joining us to share some of that. This morning. I have. Thank you. It's nice to be with you. Great to have you. How here. was the matzo ball soup? I'm it having some great. after. We're going to get you some. I know. We know how. We'll hook you up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we've been enjoying, I've been always enjoying Pittsburghers, and um, we've been looking at their art, antiques, and collectibles. So some of you have brought some in. So I'm going to start with this compass, then we're okay. going to talk about teacups. So. Oh, I'm allowed to touch it? Yeah, why not? All right, because so, I don't have the gloves on. Here, take a glove. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, <laughs> the compass is marked U.S. Right. Oh, I'm so, putting uh, Dr. Lori's glove on. I know. They're very okay. famous. You know, they sell on eBay for about $18. You can get a pair. <laughs> um, so basically what you're looking at here is a U.S.-issued compass. And, you know, they would issue all kinds of things, tools, utilized mm -hmm. during wars. So back to the Civil War, you could get a horse brush, right, to brush oh, your wow. horse. Yeah. So that particular mark is a mark that you will see throughout all of our military campaigns. And it is the type of thing that would be given, of course, to every single soldier who would need a compass, for example. So this belongs, I believe, to Tina, and it's yes. valued at about $75 to $95. It's a military collectible, and it also is, of course, a navigational tool. So anytime a, a, an antique falls into more than one category, it's worth a little more than if it mm -hmm. only fell in one category, because you can attract buyers to dif from different categories. Somebody who doesn't care about military collectibles might care about it because it is a, a navigation navigational tool. tool. Right, right exactly. Right. And then we've got the good old-fashioned teacups. This is beautiful. Yeah. Now, yesterday, um, you were nice enough, David, to bring in a family heirloom from your husband. Mm -hmm. And that particular piece also had a similar pearlescence, which is this right. luster wear interior. So it's, these are from about the same time period, which is just about World War I, or about 1914 to about 1918. What's interesting about these is we have two of these particular pieces, and one of them says January Carnation on it. Oh, yeah. See that? You're doing that very well, well with the glove. Well, David. now that I have the Dr. Lori glove, I feel like I can be your apprentice. You can. Okay. So basically, January Carnation, this is a sterling silver band. It looks a little gold tone, but it's sterling mm -hmm. silver banding all the way around. And then you can see that it's transfer wear for the carnations. Carnations, all flowers, you can talk to Doug Oster about this, but all flowers have a particular symbolism. Okay. And the symbolism for a carnation is loyalty and marriage. So you'll see in the history of art paintings of people who are married with carnations all around. So usually January is associated with that because it was very common for you to marry in January just after the big winter. It was a time in winter when you were basically dead, done the harvest and you were relaxing and resting, like winter break. So mm -hmm. January was a big place for weddings. Hmm. In the 1900s, that's what you see here. These particular pieces, now this particular one goes in the same set because there's 12 in this set. This is November. Okay. Oh, okay. So a, okay. Different flowers for different months, and different flowers relate to different things. So that's what we're looking at here. These are worth about $35 for a cup with a saucer. So if you've got, I don't know, what's your birthday month, Heather? May. Okay, so if you've got May, you know, you've got a $35 cup and saucer set. So times 12 plus 10% for collection value. Okay? So Anytime you have a collection, you add 10% oh, in okay. terms of value. Okay. If you have the whole set. If you have the whole set. So I always say two diamond earrings are better than one. Don't break up a set. Okay. <laughs> That's let's, a good tip. Yeah. Let's see what some of the folks at my stage show, the Antique Appraisal Comedy Tour, have actually the brought comedy in. tour. Oh we yeah. Had a, we had a painting. You had a painting last night. We had a painting, and what was interesting about this? This gentleman's name is Malcolm. He drove a couple hours to get to me because. The painting is a painting of a nude. It's an abstract expressionist painting. Mm -hmm. And the painting is signed by an artist named Seymour Lipton, about whom I wrote a book in the year 2000. Oh. And so I was very surprised to oh. see a painting because Lipton is known as an abstract expressionist sculptor, along with people like Jackson Pollock and David Smith and others. And um, he said, I knew you would know what this is. And I said, yeah, I know what that is. I said, I can't believe you have it. Where was it? And he said it was in a thrift store. <gasps> he bought it for about $25. It was worth $2,000. Oh, my He found goodness. it in a thrift store. Found it in a thrift store. That's the reason to go to thrift stores. Yes. Right on, my, there. on my YouTube channel, I teach people what to look for in the thrift stores because everybody's thrifting, right. particularly millennials. They love thrifting. that. They love that. It's so smart. Yeah. Okay. And last night, you also found or appraised a coin belt. Oh, my gosh. This particular piece is a Morgan Dollar coin belt. Now, a Morgan Dollar has a Liberty head on it, and it's named Mor for Morgan. This particular piece is wonderful. There were 20, diff 20 original Morgan Dollars on it. They are sterling silver. Each coin is sterling silver, so they, they 
value about $45 per coin, which makes wow. that belt worth about 900 bucks. Wow. wow. It was beautiful. Now, did the she know when... from about 1900. She bought it in the 1960s. She was really cute. There's the close-up of it. And what's really cute about it is she said, in the 60s, I used to wear it around my waist, but not anymore. She was a doll. <laughs> yeah, she was a lot of fun. A $900 belt. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, want to wear it. Yeah. I'd be afraid. So it, it's really, it was really quite beautiful. Um, but again, it was American currency of the early, uh, late 18, early 1900s. And there you go. About wow. a thousand bucks in the belt. I know we don't have a picture of it, but last night you also appraised something that was worth a pretty penny, too. What was, was that? It, was that the sculpture that you had last oh, night? Oh, we had a beautiful sculpture last night. Yes, we've had some maquettes, which are small scale pieces, and we had one which was an equestrian uh, piece. And those pieces can range in value from about $5,000 to about $10,000. So remember, fine art, furniture, precious metals, including jewelry, will always hold their value long term. Right. What we go to see in museums is usually what we want to hold on to. You know, the Pez dispensers are probably not going to get you a lot, the retirement hut in Fiji, you know? Right. So we want you to think about that. And beautiful furniture, remember our furniture is always something to think about as a decorative art. It always can increase value. Yeah. And, and a Dr. Know. Lori glove, also uh, very valuable. 18 bucks All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lori. And you can bring your items so that Dr. Lori can take a look at them and appraise them. Dr. Lori's stage is right here at the Home and Garden Show. And uh, you can bring it tonight, starting at 7. And uh, you'll be here uh, at 7 through Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday, it's noon, 3 and 7. And then Sunday, noon and 3. You can uh, bring items in person. Or if they're too big, bring photographs. That's that right. is allowed as well. Yes, sir. All right.